What's going on guys, Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. Literally just about to walk out the door. I thought I'd pick up the camera because I wasn't actually gonna vlog this. I was gonna vlog tomorrow because I'm filming a full day of eating. I was meant to film this before my friends come from the UK, but obviously showing them around Boston, went off track just a little bit, maybe ate out a few more times than I usually would. But we are back on track now, so I can take you through what a typical full day of eating would look like for me. Also, I've actually changed the bedroom around a little bit because the bed used to be over there in that corner, but I thought it would look more more like a bedroom if it was in the middle like this. I think the bed is better here because I can set my tripod up where the bed used to be to record some sick city time lapses with the view from the apartment. Before we leave, I'm gonna finish sipping on this orange monster. I seem to have collected quite a lot of these over the past few days. I have no idea why I did this, but I wanted to see how many different types of flavors there were like of monster that are around right now. Went out my way to basically pick up as many different flavors as I could. And this is what we got. Excluding the purple, orange, and the white one, which I've already drank. These are all the other flavors that we managed to pick up. Haven't tried the blue one yet, which I'm excited about. And this is the one I found for the first time the other day, the mango one. So yeah, I think it's safe to say I've gone a little bit overboard with the whole like collecting monster thing. Probably gonna do like some sort of challenge video because I need to do something with them. Now we're gonna go shopping to get all the food I need for the full day of eating. I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. But probably wasn't the best idea to order an uber to go shopping in you know six o'clock traffic because it's probably going to take us a lot longer to get there than uh, it usually would all right guys so we just got into the store the first thing that's on the shopping list is actually eggs now i go through quite a lot of eggs because i usually have eight eggs in the morning six whole eggs and two egg whites you can buy cartons of egg whites just like this and it will save you money because obviously you're not wasting the whole egg and it is a lot cheaper to buy egg whites like this so we're going to get two of these <laughs> i eat a lot of eggs so we're getting two cartons of egg whites and two 18 packs of eggs personally i like to go for the organic free range large brown eggs just because i think they taste the best and the chickens you know they had a better Life. so organic free range next on the list we have some original almond milk i kind of prefer it over regular milk and it's lower in fat and as well almond milk is amazing to mix into post-workout smoothies with some mixed berries peanut butter oats and a scoop of protein and i don't know why but it seems to mix together better in a smoothie than regular milk does i don't know why it just kind of does i've never been to this store so trying to find everything isn't easy but we just got to the main event we're at the protein section we're gonna get two packets of ground turkey and then we're gonna get two massive slabs of purely chicken breast it's kind of a lot of chicken breast but you put one in the freezer and then cook one and put it in tupperware and you pretty much set for like a whole week personally i prefer to buy in bulk because one it saves time you can freeze the food for however long until you need it this amount of chicken is probably going to last me like maybe a week or just over a week and also when you buy ground turkey make sure it's the seven or five percent fat one the lower the fat content the better the quality the reason i've started to buy ground turkey over beef mint is because the fat content in turkey is actually lower so it's better now usually i'd pick up some oats as well but we actually have like quite a lot at home already so we're not going to need any of those today but what we are going to need is the ultimate carb source rice krispies so we're going to need two boxes oh shit we're going to need two boxes of these i try and stay away from it just because the sugar content is so high in like most cereals but rice krispies it's like a safe bet and like in the morning or post workout or even pre-workout for like a little carb boost they're actually really good next on the list we have asparagus now if you didn't know asparagus is actually a natural diuretic so as far as green vegetables go this is probably the king and there's not a lot of green vegetables that i do like so i get asparagus and baby spinach these are kind of the only two that I like and you kind of have to eat them So these are the two that I get next on the list. We have some bananas. These ones look pretty juicy to me Get in there and as far as pre-workout snacks go some chopped up banana on a few rice cakes for a carb boost before the gym It's pretty good necessary fats avocados are definitely my go-to But you got to make sure that they're ready because this one is squidgy, but it's not that squidgy all of these these are shit. Yeah, we're, we only need one anyway, so. Next on the list is fish. Now, fish is an essential part of your diet because one, it's really good for you, especially if it's oily fish. It's really good for your joints. It's really good for lubricating the brain and like I said, the joints, and it helps protect against heart disease. So, my preferred fishes to get are either salmon or cod. It's great for staying lean because the fat content in fish is so low. So yeah, we're basically here to pick up some salmon. Now, personally, you should go for the lightly salted ones, but I kind of give in to the caramel ones just because they taste so good especially with some banana and peanut butter on top these are the ones there is nothing wrong 
with just a little restock. So the next thing I'm gonna pick up wasn't actually on the shopping list, but I should pick it up anyway, because what is equally as important as actually the food that you eat is how you manage your time. Implementing this sort of diet into your daily routine is not easy, unless you manage your time correctly and prepare the food in a way that's easily accessible. So we need to pick up freezer bags and we need to pick up Tupperware. All right, so first is these zip lock freezer bags. So you don't have to unfreeze the big slab of chicken we just picked up. You can unfreeze like two breasts at a time, which obviously makes everything a lot more convenient. So these are actually really convenient. And the next is Tupperware. It doesn't really matter what Tupperware you do get because it's all gonna crack and like leak eventually anyway, hence why I'm buying some more. But yeah, Tupperware to help manage your time to get the meals out of the fridge when you need them. We've got one more thing on the list, which is actually brown basmati rice. I prefer brown basmati rice because basmati rice, it's softer and it's a lot easier to eat than whole grain white rice. And the starch content is a lot lower in brown rice. So obviously that little bit of fat that you're trying to get rid of on the lower part of your abs. Starch is not your friend. So basmati rice, brown basmati rice is the way forward. This and sweet potato is the main carb source that I have with the main meals throughout the day. But that being said, I'm gonna get a few packets of this thing. Another two packets, four packets all together, should be enough. There are usually some things that I've already got at home that I will list when I do get back home, but this is pretty much everything I need that I don't have right now. So yeah, we just finished the shop. All right then guys, so we just got back from the shops. I've laid all the food out right here so we can recap on everything that I just bought. And then I'm gonna show you guys how much it costs. So on average, you can see how much a weekly shop is gonna cost for you guys if you wanna pick up the same foods. So we've got two cartons of egg whites. We've got 36 eggs right here, four packets of Uncle Ben's rice, a four pack of white monster and two extra monsters right here, two boxes of Rice Krispies, two packets of 16 ounce ground turkey, a big container of spinach and some asparagus, one carton of almond milk and one one carton of regular milk. We got some salmon over here. Two whole packets of chicken breast. I've separated the other chicken breast to show you exactly what I mean. You can separate these packets individually and freeze them and then take them out individually when you need them so you don't have to defrost the entirety of this whole packet. Because obviously when you've defrosted it, you can't refreeze it and then you've got to cook it all and then keep it in the fridge and then eat it all within a few days. So it's beneficial to put them into individual bags for convenience. Also, we have some bananas right here, the caramel rice cakes, Tupperware, and then obviously see the sealable um, freezer packs. Over here, I got some irrelevant extra stuff right here. Sometimes I enjoy ramen. Sometimes I need a five hour energy. Sometimes my girlfriend likes turkey sandwiches. So yeah, we've got some cheese and some bread also. This is generally what a week's shop would typically look like for me. There are some extras that I spoke about that I said I already got, which I'm gonna show you right now. But this is everything excluding all of that stuff that I would typically get. That would that I would typically get. Right here, guys, is the food that I would have bought if I didn't already have it. One being sweet potato. Then we got some oats right here, some protein powder, peanut butter, seasoning for like chicken, turkey mint, all that kind of thing, and some mixed berries for like post-workout smoothies. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that I usually eat. Now here we go, the moment we have all been waiting for. Brandon, how much did all this food cost? How do you sustain a healthy lifestyle on a budget? If you eat out all the time, let's just say once a day and you spend $10 on a meal every single day, right? Every single day a week. That's $70 just on seven meals a week. You've probably got another three meals to eat, which you're gonna spend money on all this stuff doing. If you save the money that you would spend eating out and spend it on some of this, this kind of lifestyle is actually a bunch cheaper. So when I give you the price of what this all costs, you're not gonna feel too bad now. Everything came to $139.88, which if you convert it to British pounds, it's just under a hundred pounds. So you'll be getting a whole week's shop for just under a hundred pound, which if you add up last week's food bill, including all your food, including all the times you ate out, it's probably more than hundred pounds. So if you do want to save your money and live a more healthy lifestyle, buy these kinds of foods and like neglect eating out so much. I already know what a lot of you are about to say. I have a busy lifestyle. I go to uni, I go to school, I have a, I have a day job. I don't have time to wake up in the morning to prep all this food. Like who has enough time to do this? The regular guy does not have enough time on his hands to prep all this food. I'm gonna show you how in my next video, which is gonna be a full day of eating with all this food. I'm gonna show you how to prepare this food in an efficient way to save time and how to implement it into your daily life. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. If you enjoyed the video, guys, please smash the like button, share this with a friend. If you think it could help them and next time your mom asks you what you want from the shops just send her the link to this video and she will know exactly what to get you if you haven't already joined the don squad thank you henry 48 for being part of the don squad if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace
segment off the vlog. The breadwinner brings back the food for his lady. You know, went out to kill the animals himself. I'm back now. And with only moments to spare, creates magic. Bam! Kapow! How was your day? <laughs> Better now. Find yourself a guy that can do both. <laughs> what do you say to that? <laughs>